Hi, Gary Cooper here from Square Frame Photography, and I want to help you take better photos with your mobile phone. So all this week, we've had a bit of a theme going on around how we focus on one particular subject and how we bring the viewer's eye to focus on that one particular part of your photo without you maybe realizing that that's what you were doing. Today, we're looking at negative space. And we're talking about how to embrace the fact that negative space is actually a good thing and can be quite artistic from a photographer's point of view, but even when you put it into a business commercial use, it can have massive effect on the finished result. Today we're gonna to do a flat lay image and I've laid it out based on the main subject and some of the accessories that you would expect to find with that. So I'm gonna be using a DJI action camera. It could be anything. Again, this is go relate this back to your business and how it can work for you. So I've got a load of stuff which is relatable to the DJI because you might have things which are relevant to you or your business that helps you tell a story. Because that's what it's about, telling a story to your clients. So don't just focus on the fact that I'm using a DJI product. Don't just focus on the fact that it's very product based focused if you like. It is purely if I had a person who I could photograph, I would photograph a person and show you how to do negative space really well. So this can be applied to all aspects and all businesses, but let's have a look at how you can use negative space to your advantage. So this is what you'll probably end up taking, which would be like that. And you can get quite close in if you wanted to, get quite creative. Um, again, we're shooting in landscape because it's just easier. So we've got a selection of images there that you can see. Uh, my personal favorite is a nice close up one. Obviously, these are very rough, um, quick edits kind of thing that we're going for. But what I want to show you is the power of, let's just remove everything. And then, let's look at how you can use negative space. Let's go with the rule of thirds and pull it up to here. So you've got a nice big bit of space there. Could go into the middle box, bit of space there. Or we could look at using over on this side. Some space there as well. Could get really creative. And take a picture like that. And what you've got now is, yes, there's this space around the image or to the left or to the right of it. But what that allows you to do is to put in text. So you could have writing across this one, which says, um, so I'll show you on there. So you have writing across this one, which would say DJI Ax um, Osmo Action. Um, over here, sale starting now. So yes, there's light flare on this because we've got the video lights burning. Uh, we will talk about how you can use lighting, natural and flash to make your photos even better. This is from going from a crowded image, which is still a nice image. Let's don't get me wrong. This isn't a bad image to have. Yes, it can be tidied up. Yes, there's light flare, there's shadows, all of that kind of stuff. Focus on the principle of what we're trying to learn here around how by using negative space, you can create amazing content images. This would be my favorite one uh, where you can add in the text and then you'll be able to see how that finishes off. So that's it. That's how you can go from a perfectly good image to start with, the flat lay. It wasn't a bad flat lay. Yes, probably a bit more attention to detail uh, on my part, but actually you can have a really good image and then make it even better by then going for the negative space. So embrace negative space. Don't look at it as a bad thing. Also think of what the benefits are when you're creating content by having negative space. If you are having a photo of yourself, a self-portrait, Having it really close up to your face, that's fantastic. It focuses on you. There's nothing else for people to see. But if you pulled it away and there was a brick wall to your left or to your right, you can then superimpose text onto that wall, which then makes it content for your social media, which means something. Because unless you're really pushing a personal brand, a photo of just you doing something doesn't mean anything to anyone. People will interpret that in different ways. By having, you can, having space, the negative space, to add text in there to maybe have it as a blog heading or maybe say there's a service I offer um, is just really powerful. So have a look at how you can use negative space in your photos. If you're on a construction site, 
having a person working on the construction site, keep with the rule of thirds. So keep on them uh, crossed over lines onto the right hand side of the image. And then on the left hand side, a bit of space where you could then put in the text. So have a play around with it. It'd be great to see some examples of you guys using negative space. Gary Cooper here from Square Frame Photography, ensuring that you and your brand look striking with the use of creative editing and lighting. Keep on creating some amazing content for your clients. Take care.